Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we will understand what is IIFE. This topic is very important to understand because in many situation, you will need this. So we will understand what is IIFE. IIFE stands for Immediately Invoke Function Expression. Immediately Invoke Function Expression declare function and run it immediately. Now we know that when you create anonymous function, you need to create a function expression and specify that anonymous function to the variable. And then you can access the reference of that function and call that function using the parenthesis. Then why we need this? The reason behind this is that anything inside it has its own scope and because it is a function, it can pass to any other variable and it call immediately after its declaration right immediately invoke function expression look like this so i will just declare a parenthesis here and in that parenthesis i will wrap the function so i will say function so here i will creating an anonymous function and here you can specify the body of your function and just after that here specify open and closing parenthesis so here we create anonymous function using a function expression and then immediately invoke that function now in this syntax we created a parenthesis and put function inside this parenthesis inside this parenthesis we declare a simple anonymous function just after that we specify the body of our function and then after the closing curly braces and closing parenthesis specify open and closing parenthesis right over here so this parenthesis call this function immediately using the example you will have a better understanding of this function let's consider the following example i will just create a function and specify this function to the variable so i will say constant f is equal to and in the parenthesis i will put an anonymous function so i will say parenthesis and here i will specify a function and in the body of that function i will say let str is equal to and in the double quote i will specify immediately invoke function expression And just after that return str right don't forget to specify parenthesis just after the closing parenthesis over here right and after that i will just call the variable using console.log when you execute this statement you will get immediately invoke function expression message on the console we just created an anonymous function and call this function using the parenthesis now what if we remove this closing parenthesis from here if you do that you will get a reference of that function now if you wanted to execute this function immediately you need to specify open and closing parenthesis over here if you wanted to refer this function to any other variable you don't need to specify this parenthesis just specify this function to the variable and when you call this function just specify parenthesis with the variable right now you know that you cannot access the function variable outside of that function in previous video we learned how to access that variable using closure for example so i will just get rid of a body of this function and here i will just say let count is equal to one and using return keyword i will just return a function so i will say return and in the body of this function i will say return and in the back tick i will say value of count and just 
using interpolation i will just specify my count variable with post incremental operator right so here we just wanted to increase the value of the count variable by one when we call the function just after that i will say console.log and specify f variable so i will just specify parenthesis just after the f variable i will just call this statement three times so i will just copy this statement and paste it over here so when you execute this statement you will get one two three on the console using closure you can access the count variable right so here if you just specify this f variable then you will get the reference of the function because we are returning a function to the f variable now if you wanted to call this function you need to specify parenthesis over here right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily share this video with your friends and colleagues that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial.